Umfong is one of the several border towns in Cross River State. The town between Nigeria and Cameroon in the Ajaso community of Etun local government area usually attracts heavy security presence, painted a picture of a border town. It's often a beehive of activity here. Our citizens of both countries engage in trade. However, a cursory look around shows a town that reeks of neglect, with dilapidating and old infrastructure dotting every space. This the people see as unbecoming of a border town. I've been complaining about this electricity, and I see this as an opportunity for us to cry out to government that if there's no way we can have this light, they should stop deceiving us. They should come and remove their wire so that we know that we'll consider burning our generators. Because the fair price now here, I heard it's, I think it's 100 and 116 naira for a liter. I wish not, we can't be affording it every day, every day. So we really need a NEPA government to come to our aid. We are really suffering. I don't look at Nigeria. Hold on, sir. Are you in Nigeria? As significant as the Umfong post is to both Nigeria and Cameroon, security operations here are still largely manual. These may have also created leaks in the system. There are so many leakages across the border, especially along the villages and the water side. You can see that all other agencies here are working on generator. As you see here, there are no high-tech equipment for monitoring of uh, activities here in the border. As far as the paramount ruler of the town is concerned, the state of Mfum town speaks of scant attention the government pays to vital issues. Uh, like an international border, or like what they say, first impression matters a lot. And when you get to a place like this, you're supposed to see fantastic buildings, hotels, every other thing. So we don't have, look at our officers. They don't have better quarters to live, but they work for the government. A visit here by the country's representative, United Nations Office on Drugs and Crime, as well as a marching order from the state governor that all localities must be connected to the national grid, is raising hopes that operations here may soon take a new shape. So we need specialized equipment, otherwise the officials cannot work. So I think this uh, border visit will also help us to identify the gaps together with the government and then also hopefully be able to look for more funds than to be able to support also in the future the government of Nigeria. His major and our major task now and onward is to ensure that all the communities that have no light should be provided with light. It's a matching order he has given us just now. Residents of Mfam may have heard these promises in the past, but would this make any difference this time around?